implement queue using stacks. Consider a queue which follows a first in, first out format, which means elements that are added into the queue first are removed first. Now consider a stack which follows a last in, first out format, which means the last element added to the stack will be the first one removed. In this problem, we must implement a queue data structure using two stacks. Furthermore, we need to implement the following methods, push, pop, peak, and empty. We will implement these methods in the following time complexities. First, we will label the stack as either an in stack or an out stack. Let's say, for example, we want to push one. In the queue data structure, we would just append it. And to get a similar result, we will just append it to the in stack. Now let's say we want to push again, but this time we want to push 2. In the queue data structure, we would just append it. And to achieve a similar result, we will just append it to the in stack. Now let's apply a pop operation. In a queue data structure, it's first in, first out, so we pop 1. And to achieve a similar result, we will first pop all the elements in the in stack. And we append the popped element to the out stack. Once more, we pop all the elements from the in stack and append it to the out stack. And we will do a final pop to remove the last element in the out stack. And this achieves the same result as in the queue data structure. Now let's do another push operation. We push three onto the queue, and similarly, we will push it onto the in stack. Now let's apply a peak operation. For a queue, we will return the first element, and similarly, we will return the last element in the out stack. Now let's apply a pop, we will remove the first element in the queue, and since the out stack is not empty, we do not move all the elements in the in stack to the out stack. We simply just pop the element in the out stack. Now let's do another peak operation. This returns the first element in the queue, and since the out stack is empty, we would pop all the elements in the in stack and append it to the out stack. So we pop three and append it to out stack, and finally return the top of out stack. And lastly, we can do a pop operation where we pop the element in the queue and similarly in the out stack. Now to check for an empty state, we would check if the queue is empty and likewise, we would check if both the stacks are empty. So to summarize, if we want to push, we would just push to in stack. For pop, we would first move all the elements in in stack to out stack only if out stack is empty and then we would pop from out stack. And a similar idea for peak. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.